So welcome in this class. In this session, we are going to introduce the concept of vector uh, geometry. And in this session, we are going to define a vector, uh, give a few definitions uh, on vectors, and then uh, state the notation that we are going to use. And then uh, finally state the laws of vector algebra. So uh, vector uh, definition. So you say a vector is a quantity that has both direction and magnitude. So examples of vector quantities, we have displacement, displacement, we have velocity, we have acceleration, We have momentum, etc. So quantities which have both magnitude and direction are called vectors. So uh, let's see how we present vectors. So representation of vectors. So representation. So there are two ways. Uh, there are two ways of uh, representing vectors, either analytic or geometrical. So geometric, uh, geometrical so vectors are represented by A line segment, a directed line segment. Directed line segment. Uh, whose initial point is the origin and terminal point is the point x1, x2. So this is the case So this is the case uh, of a, a plane let's say x y x1 x2 plane So this is what I mean, that if this is my plan, so this is say y axis, and then the x axis. So this is my origin.
So uh, I have this. So this is a point I'm calling x1, x2. And then this is the origin. So this is what we call the terminal point. So the end of the line segment, and then this is the initial point. And then, so uh, we can call this, it's a vector X. And so we put an arrow on top of that uh, vector S, uh, X. So this is how we represent geometrically a vector X in the XY plane. So this vector, uh, this vector, so this X, uh, this vector X has the same ordered pair used to represent each terminal point. So this, I mean that uh, the vector X is given by X1 comma X2. And you see this the same way we, uh, we write the coordinates of this terminal point. So that's why I'm saying that the vector X has the same ordered pair used to represent its terminal uh, point. And so, uh, so that's a geometrical representation. So you draw a, a directed line segment if it's in the plane from the origin, and then the initial point, uh, the terminal point, will be the uh, given by this for the case of X Y plane. So analytically, So we represent vectors by letters with arrows on top. So eg, like what you have shown x, and then you put an arrow. This uh, this is the analytic representation of this vector or of this point to this uh, terminal point. So if this is an arbitrary vector, so let this be the terminal point. And then this is the uh, initial point. Then we can say we can call this vector A, and then you put an R on top of it. So we can say, or we can write it as OP, and then you put an R on top of it. Or sometimes we can call this one uh, vector A. So use small a, and then we put a tilde sign below it, or we can write small a, and even we put just an arrow on top of it. So this is analytic representation, or even sometimes you can just write a, and then you put 
a dash below it. So that can also uh, mean this vector. And then, so uh, we have what we call some definitions. Some other uh, representations. So uh, if, so one, we have a point A, X1, X2, is a point in the plane. Then the position vector, Remember, position vector is simply a vector measured with respect to the origin. Vector is given by our right OA and then put an arrow this way. Our whose value can be given by just writing X1 x2 or we can write oa as x1 x2 this called column our vector notation or we can write this as oa is given by, so you write x1, then without comma, and then you just write x2. So this is row notation. Or now if we use the ij vectors, we can say oa is given by x1 i plus x2 j so this is using uh unit vectors i and j so these are different ways of representing that uh position vector for a point a x1 x2 so can either use column row or this x, uh, i, and j vectors. So similarly, if I have the point A given by x1, x2, and x3 in space, So A is similarly uh, given the point A of coordinates x1, x2, x3 in space. Then the position vector position vector of A is OA and this is given by, we can just write it as X1, X2 or X3 or you can write OA equals to X1, X2, X3 So this is the column notation. So column uh, vector notation. Or you can write OA is given by, you write X1, X2, 
x3. So this row vector notation. Or you can write OA is X one I plus X two J plus X three K. So this using the unit vectors I, J, and K. So these are different ways of writing the position vectors of uh, this point in space. So uh, just note. So when we say uh, a point of coordinates x1, x2, so if you have this as your x, y axis, So this is our origin. So I have the point here, x1, x2. Then uh, this is a vector. So this point is A. So this. This is his A X1 units up to this point here. And then this is X2. So therefore to move from, if I call this one uh, B, but this is a right angle here. So to move from O to A, I move from O to B and then B to A. So this is the direction I'm following. And this is distance x to units. So therefore, OA, I need to move from O to B and then pass uh, B to A. So O to B is x1 units. And then x direction is the i direction. And then B to A is x2 units in the j direction. So that's why we are saying that the position vector of O of OA is x1 i plus x2 j. So similarly the same you can represent in the 3D space. And remember so this i is a unit vector are given by one zero and J is a unit vector given by zero one. So that's now uh, saying OA is the same as X one and then I is one zero plus X two J zero one. And so this just multiply by everything inside this vector. So we have x1, x1 times zero is zero. And then plus x2 times zero is zero. x2 times one is x2. So this gives you x1 plus zero, x1, zero plus x2, x2. So therefore this representation and this representation appear the same things. So, uh, and remember the I, J, and K vectors are unit of vectors actually were uh, discovered by an Ireland mathematician called uh, William Hamilton. So that's why uh, sometimes you can say the i, j, r, k vectors are the William Hamiltonian uh, vectors. So he's the one who discovered this uh, unit vectors i, j, and k. 
So that's how we represent vectors. And then, so uh, this is what we call unit vector. So unit vector in general, apart from this special ones, i, j, and k, is any vector whose magnitude is one. A vector whose magnitude is one is called a unit vector. And uh, given a vector, given a non zero vector A, then the vector if you say A divided by the magnitude of A is a unit vector in the direction of the vector A. So remember the notation, this one, means the magnitude of vector A. So that's what we mean by that, uh, that, uh, that notation. And it's also uh, given by, so you can write magnitude of vector A or you can write it as just A now without an arrow that shows the magnitude. Our next definition is what we call the component. Components of a vector. Components of a vector. So given a vector A where uh, A is written as A1 I plus A2 J plus A3 K then the quantities A1, A2, and A3 are called the components of vector A. And so now, so once you have A given in this form, so then uh, the magnitude of vector A is, so you write magnitude of vector A is now the positive square root of the sum of squares of the components of the vector A. We have A1 squared plus A2 squared plus A3 squared. So in case A is in 2D, so just if A is given by A1 I plus A2 J, uh, then 
magnitude of A will be a square root of A1 squared plus A2 squared. But remember when you're writing A1, A2, and A3, you don't put arrows, these are just numbers. Arrow is only put on this A as a vector. So for instance, uh, given A is 2i plus 4j, then magnitude of A is square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared to be square root of 4 plus 4 squared is 16. So this be root 20, which is same as uh, 2 root 5 units. Or you can put in this mode. And then uh, a unit vector in the direction of this vector A is, so given by A over the magnitude of A, so which will be the A is 2i plus 4j, then you have found the magnitude is 2 root 5, so which will be now 1 over root 5 i plus 2 over root 5 j. Or when you multiply through by root 5, you can say this is the same as root 5 over 5 i plus 2 root 5 over 5 j. So this is a unit vector. So you can say the unit vector of A in the direction of A is given by this. And just to confirm that this is indeed a unit vector, if you try to find the magnitude of this vector, so magnitude of uh, this vector claiming the unit will be given by the square root, square of this one, so root five over five squared plus two, root 5 over 5 squared should be square root of 5 over 25 plus this one will be 4 times 5 20 over 25 and indeed you get a square root of 25 over 25 which is just one so therefore that is indeed a unit vector uh, then an example, uh, last example on magnitude. So if we have 4i minus j plus 6k, then magnitude of b will be the square root of 4 squared plus minus one squared plus six squared, which will be the square root 16 plus one plus 36. And then you add this 16 plus one plus a six, get square root of 53. So which is roughly 7.2801098889 units. And then the direction, a unit vector in direction of B,
is given by taking B, dividing by its magnitude. So which will be 4i minus J plus 6k. You divide this by square root of 53. So it will be 4 over 53i minus 1 over 53j and then plus 6 over 53k, uh, which can be written as 4 root 53 over 53i minus root 53 over 53 j plus 6 root 53 over 53 k. Or you can factor out 1 over 53 and then into 4 root 53. Or say uh, you factor out root 53 over 53. So uh, 53 over 53 into 4i and then plus a minus j and then plus 6 k. And so just to determine that uh, this is indeed a unit vector, you can find its length and see that it will have the square root of, square of this will give us 16 over 53, square of this will give us 1 over 53, square of this one will give us at 6 over 53. And you should see that this is the square root of 53 over 53, which is 1. So that's how we work it out. So in the next session, I uh, will give the uh, loss of vector algebra and do some examples. Thank you.